Hello guys, today we're going to talk about, we're going to create a login screen, okay, and we can discuss afterwards if we can do some, uh, some real login database or something like this, or communicating with sockets with Kiwi, and uh, for this video we're going to just stick to the login interface, so let's just go ahead and uh, create two text inputs okay and if you cannot understand this layout you can check my previous videos about the screen login okay guys so text input and let's just go ahead and uh, undo this enter text okay let's say enter text uh, enter username and for the uh, let's say size is uh, size is root the width of uh, let's say uh, a point eight okay and root dot height of uh, maybe a point four five okay for the position it's root root dot width of point maybe one okay and root dot eight of all points maybe let's give it a let's give it let's let's give it a seven okay and i think that that's all for now so we have to copy this and just come here and paste it and let's say in here enter password okay and in here for the position it's six let's run it and check if it works okay so we want the background to be white we have to do this let's say the canvas before okay let's just let me just make it a little bit bigger okay so canvas before <laughs> and then let's uh, give it a color we want it to be white so RGBA is one and one. Okay, and in here we're gonna create a rectangle, and that rectangle has the size of has the size of root dot width and root dot height. Okay, for the position it's O O. We can we can just ignore this okay and now we want the we want this text to be centered so we have to add it one line to this so let's say uh, hi i don't know it's if Alin, i guess maybe this way okay let me check so let's say center okay and let's just copy this and paste it here and let's see if it works okay can say that it is centered okay so now let me just clear this and uh, let me just add one more thing okay I just let me just add this to the password let's say password true okay so in here we type in normally and in here you can see who we're typing and uh, you can see that when I press enter, I can go to a new line. Let's get rid of this. So let's say that multi line is equals to false. I hope uh, I wrote it right. And let's just punch it. Okay. I don't know about plus. Okay, let me just press enter and see. You can see that we cannot go to another line. Now, now let's uh, let's just create something else. Okay, let's create a button. Okay, a button needs uh, to log in. Maybe button and in here, go text. Let's say log login. Oh, this way 
login okay and for the sides let's give it a let's keep the size in the position uh, almost the same we change this let's give it a maybe uh 525 okay and let's give it an on press okay guys so we have to define another function in our python so we're gonna call it root dot login or button login okay and in here we're gonna come here we're gonna do this so rep dev and we called it btn login okay it takes self and in here we're gonna pass and let's see how this works okay you can see that we have created this and uh, now let's just do something else let's maybe uh let's maybe check check what we have inside once we enter something to the text input so we have to give it an id so id is let's say let's say username id and in here let's say that id is password id okay so in here what we're gonna do we're gonna do this <coughs> let's print out the uh password <laughs> let's print out the password and the uh the username id <coughs> and the password so to do that we're gonna do this so sell ids and then we're gonna do this so username id dot text and let's say let's just add this okay so user username is <coughs> okay and we have to concatenate okay and let me just copy all of this okay do a plus here and just paste it and in here we're going to change this to password okay and in here we're going to add this okay and i think i think that's all self ids In here we're going to change this to password is let us see if it works or not so username let's say user and let's say password so you can see that username we're printing this so user username is user and password is password okay uh, so next time we're gonna Next time we're gonna deal with some we're gonna add some conditions to this and etc etc okay guys <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video and you can find the source code below thank you guys <laughs>